Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the StarCraft II ESL Pro Tour Europe Cup Weekly. It's June 15th today, and we've got some nice StarCraft for you. So, um, the first thing I'm going to say is, damn, I love these skins. For those of you, as we were talking about, the new war chest did just drop. They are being, this is the uh, Tirador Terran building set that got added. I do not believe that all of them are available, but the basic buildings right now are for wave one of the war chest. You guys know how it works. You had to wait like a month for phase two to open. But they're being supported by our Red Terran on the bottom right of Death Aura. They are Baby Marine. Pretty cool building skins, honestly. They face off against the Zerg player in the top left. Garitos. And I, I, I can't lie. The Cerberus skins for Zerg, even for their buildings, they're not, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely think that Terran got the best set of skins for, uh, Terran definitely got the best set of skins out of this war chest. I Sometimes I forget that we're using the game hard extension. Oh wait, I forgot to say. Uh, the Zerg player is leading 1-0, sorry. We just jumped into this match right at the end of our last one. Um, I know I was like, yeah, I'm gonna look for another series, but hey, if someone posts a lobby link and I don't have a match I'm currently casting, why not jump in, see what's happening, see what's going on. Can Baby Marine bring themselves back in this best of three, or will it be a 2-0? Yeah, sometimes I forget the WCS Game Heart extension actually lets us spectate them with all of the skins, even the ones that you technically can't get yet. The players don't see the skins in game. Which also weirds me out, because when I'm playing in tournaments and I'm like, dog, I want to see my own skins. I you, I play better when I can see how pimped out my army is. Does anybody else agree with me? You play better when your army's pimped out. You think that my pink kawaii girl pickup truck in COD Warzone makes me easier to spot and kill. I say it strikes fear into the hearts of my enemies that I would drive around with a pink kawaii girl pickup truck. But that's just me. That's just me. So Zergling speed starts up. Very standard for TVZ. Um, actually, the extractor looks pretty cool. Extractor skin looks like there's a lot more metal on it than the other ones. We do have the Reaper starting to poke. Now, the third base did go up. Uh, usually, the Reaper wants to try and deny that. Getting this first creep tumor, I think, makes up for it, though. That's really nice. Creep tumor is, creep is versus Terran is so important. If you play Zerg, losing that tumor really, really hurts because it could have been an inject on the hatchery. It could have been future unit production rather than, you know, well, now just flush down the toilet. So the Reaper checks the third, says, okay, you're there. That's fine. Hellion production on the way. Starport is on the way. Yeah. Okay. So it's not the full set that's being used then. And that's fine too. That's fine. So there's the creep tumor going to be put somewhere a little bit more safe in case the Reaper pokes back. Um, there is Ling Speed about to finish. So with a couple more Zerglings being added, the Reaper shouldn't be able to really do anything else. But for a Zerg, spreading it here isn't even bad because weirdly enough, it can kind of connect. It can connect through the gap here to this third hatchery. And it'll actually cause this hatchery's creep to spread a little bit faster. I'm not going to lie. It took, the game stopped moving for a second and I was very concerned that it was me who was lagging. I'm like, my stream is live right now, but I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just like, God, I really don't want to be the reason why something bad happens. So we're just going to chill here for a hot second. Let me take this time to tell you that if you can hear my voice right now, you are a wonderful, beautiful human being. All right, they're gone. So Cloak, Banshees, Hellions. Um, I personally haven't used a bunch of Banshees versus Zerg too much yet uh, on this patch. I've kind of gone back to Battlecruisers just because they are a little bit better now. Um, I'm not a massive fan of BCs like en masse versus Zerg. But when you do a BC rush or a Banshee rush, for example, in this game now, 
the queen losing one range versus air does affect those matchups quite a bit the banshee has a range of six so the queen used to have two more range than a banshee now it only has one and with it's kind of weird with how range works because the model of the unit can be bigger than one range right so edge to edge it can be a little bit tricky but it's going to be a lot easier for banshees to either poke the, the queens or avoid their shots if the queen is trying to shoot from say like behind a hatchery or next to a spore crawler which are all very common scenarios in uh zerg versus terran now the hallians can do a really good job of cleaning up creep too um we did talk earlier in the pvz about how the creep tumor is now considered a light structure so the queen is a light structure excuse me the queen the creep tumor <laughs> I'm, I'm like looking at queens I'm, I'm trying to say the other sentence uh i don't know that the overlord spotted this banshee i'm not sure if they're 100 percent aware no there's another spore going up so gary toast is like no nah, i'm not dealing with that in fact gary toast still believes in the queen he's got six of them and really nothing else 10 lings won't won't really do anything against this except try to buy a little bit of time for the queens to get over to the uh, hellions but if you can get an opportunity to shoot at those creep tumors i think four hellions just one shot tumors now um or at least i know with blue flame you can do it you can do it with uh, three upgraded hellions as a terran player who loves to play mech i can i can certainly say for uh with zero doubt that hellions are really freaking good at killing creep tumors so baby marine wanted to wait for the second banshee and this way they'd be able to get a little bit more oomph, a little bit more bounce chicka bounce wow against these drones killing a pretty decent number of them so far five workers picked off yeah i guess we're not using wcs game hard at all uh there we have a little bit of a shot taken man if only if you got a full volley he would have been able to kill the creep tumor it's tricky though it's tough it's tough a lot of queens a lot of energy starting to build up on them too banshees are coming back over here the nice thing is the banshees can kind of pull the queens that's one of your goals when you're doing something like this like you have cloak so really you just need to get outside of where the spore can reveal you and just keep hammering away um or as the chicago no was it was it cleveland browns would say keep pounding just keep pounding couple medevacs gonna load up it is bio by the way out of baby marine it's not gonna be a mech build but obviously since we were talking about hellions that's why i was talking about hellions you still use hellions as an opener versus zerg the map control that hellions provide is just way too good and really the only thing early on that's gonna like you know push hellions away are, are roaches and even then without creep spread roaches aren't super strong so turns the hellions into hellbats I love this big fourth base push going for look at the banshees put a whole position by here grabs a queen one one does get killed the other one has to move away do we have banelings there's 41 lings and 12 roaches so the marines might have some time to get damage on the drone line but i actually don't know if you want to just fight this army straight up like this even without banelings i think it'd be better to try and focus on killing everything else yeah, a lot of the hellbats do die the lings go to the back and get the surround of the marines just way too many zerglings honestly like, you would never be able to kill this many Zorglings with just two medevacs of Marines. You need those Hellbats to get Big Splash, but unfortunately, the Hellbats were a little bit too far forward up. And I think that that definitely had an impact on how that fight played out. We do have a Baneling Nest, by the way. Just no speed started yet. Roach speed is almost done. But I do think you still want Bane speed. Even if you're going to try and go for a massive, like, Roach Ling counterattack, having Banes would still be pretty nice. So he uses a reaper grenade with the two medevacs to pull back i don't mind that at all you know i've tried some reaper shenanigans actually pretty recently they could be fun there's no banelings there's just there's it's a very weird thing to talk about can't attack the zerg with bio not because there's no not because of banelings but because there's just that many zerglings so it looks like we have a big wall going up on the third drilling claws more widow mines are going to be added into this army comp we do have a good amount of tanks here as well now this massive ling counterattack that's going to be coming in the banshee just killed by that spore this is going to be really dangerous tanks need to get some good hits off on those roaches might be able to grab there's a stray queen chilling out there but this is the hard part about playing terran versus zerg when you play bio you want to move out in big waves 
Well, guess what? You're going to have to deal with these massive lean counters. Now, I still think there's no Banelings, right? He's got the Roblox Ravager skins, but there's no Banes. So this many Marines backed up by some Siege Tanks, I think, can certainly do some damage. However, the Worker Count lowered all the way down to 38 scvs for our terran player we got a ling flank coming on the right side while the ravagers come up the top the tanks might be too clumped up some ravager bottles can hit all of them and they do get deleted and finally some slow banelings waddle 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 their way over this map has some fun boost zones but i don't i don't think anything meaningful has happened in them for me to really talk about yet Baby Marine is flying in this direction because one of the things that they need to do is rebuild their workers. Now, we do finally have Drilling Claw mines. And in order to research Drilling Claws, you need an Armory. So, the Armory now provides the Cloak upgrade for Widow Mines. You no longer have Cloaked Mines with the upgrade. Mines are always going to be Cloaked when they are... Uh, when you have an Armory, period. So, the only when they burrow, obviously. When they're unburrowed, they, they're mines. They're just mines. Um, so, the Widow Mines, definitely still something that we've seen a lot of Terran players bringing back in more and more and more against Zerg. I personally don't feel like Siege Tanks have been worth it for a while in when playing Bio. Certain maps with certain, like, push areas can be useful, but, man, this is this is just rough. Gary Toast has been able to get Lings in so many different locations. Drops up Bio. Only going to get one Marine for his trouble. But somehow able to morph four Banelings in his base. Can they get to the mineral line? A couple of them might. Just one. But even still, a couple more SCVs get picked off. 45 SCVs have been brutally slaughtered in this game of StarCraft. The war never changes. Going to go for a four mine drop. I don't even think I hate this. Could actually get a lot of damage done if executed properly. And Baby Marine's going to float out that fourth base to the low ground. Try to secure some more additional economy. More additional. Yeah, yeet. So it says, I don't want to go to that base. Oh, wait. This base is just being rebuilt right now? Really? It took that long. And suddenly, Baby Marine realizes, hey, maybe things aren't so bad. We got a double drop hitting the northeast. Everything. All eyes were on that mine drop. Now, that hatchery getting target fired by 2-2 two, two bio should be enough to bring it down. Yes, good focus fire. There's the mine drop. Everything unloaded. We got one kill, two kills. And... Da, 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 da. No, I'm okay. Well, I can't see that much else on the other ones. The sport crawler did finish. We're up to 16 kills. Uh, there's still 80 drones. I think he actually got a good, a decent number of drones, but it doesn't end up mattering because he lost way too many SCVs early on. If you can get, if you can get like another orbital or two, this income tab is a little bit deceptive. He's been holding on to a lot of mules for a while, but it's gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually get that supply back up, to get that income back up. And this is actually a really key moment. See, all these lings are going for that fourth. Now, the planetary is just barely going to finish transforming in time, but it's not at full health. The SCVs aren't they repairing just yet. Okay, well, he, he decides to back off anyway. Lucky break there for uh, Baby Marine. I was going to say, if those links showed up like 10 seconds earlier, I think you could actually kill that base uh, fairly, fairly effortlessly. But it's just a lot of Ling Bane uh, queens being used as a, as kind of like a stopgap anti-air, but not... Nothing really that can go out on the map and, and, and hunt down medevacs or these drops that are kind of chilling, which is nice because I think we just saw the F2 key be used there. A little bit worried about that uh, that mass ling run by that trying to go for again. Usually don't see Zergs get hives this early, by the way. I think that's also worth pointing out. Going to try and deny this top right hatch one more time. Pretty good game that we've had going on here so far. But anyway, I was just going to say, usually Terran player is able to get 3-3 early enough to have a, a kind of like a timing window where they're ahead on upgrades. But with how fast this hive came in and with all the damage done to Baby Marine, they're going to end up being even, which I think is pretty bad for Bio because there's no tier 3. I mean, there are no late game tier 3 Bio upgrades, right? But Zerg, you're going to get not only 3-3, but Adrenal Glands is going to be a big one. So the Zerglings now basically have a built-in stim. So they attack crazy fast. Now, can these mines blow them up? The Widow Mines are so important for getting those big hits. Uh, so we see here, not that hard to do a little bit of the, the splits here, I suppose. You're fighting in the green zone. Everything moves faster. It's, it's kind of funny to watch. 
those little bridges everything moves about 20 percent faster now this is the big question these widow mines here if they don't blow up the banelings then absolutely nothing is going to be able to stop these forces from just running and crashing straight into the armed units here of baby marine and of course baby marines scv so that third base gets completely eviscerated once more the bio was transported into the main but with this many ravagers and with this many banelings if the mines can't get the banelings oh well okay a good amount of them definitely just got picked off there this is an opportunity for baby marine to try and push back a little um i do think yeah that command center was killed which is which is quite unfortunate that the command center got blown up but i mean the fourth base is still alive that's the fresh base that's the one that you've got a mule so that's a good amount of resources potentially available still for baby marine but now with the ultralisks being added in marines simply don't do a whole lot of damage to them there are a good number of marauders starting to be added but it's going to come down to the splits i think there's so many medevacs i do feel like he's got the energy and power to kind of stim through a lot of this army but if gary toes can get a good surround and get those ultras onto the marines the opportunity is there because really they're also just tanking for the banelings and medevacs are going to load up and try to run away but the widow mine shot drags over oh that's why you repair your medevacs that's why you repair your medevacs gg garytos with a 2-0 victory